Bodies are amazing things, able to perform every day under extreme conditions. So I'm climbing ice right now. Obviously, it's below freezing, but my internal body temperature is right around 37 degrees Celsius. It's gotta stay that way or I'll be in serious trouble. So how is that possible? My body and the bodies of other mammals go through sophisticated self-adjustments in order to keep our body temperatures constant and our bodies functioning correctly. To keep warm, our bodies break down fats, carbohydrates, and proteins, and this releases heat. Homeostasis is a condition where our bodies undergo processes to maintain a relatively constant internal environment despite changes to the outside world. Well, it's not only in cold temperatures, where our bodies have to spend energy to keep our inner core temperatures constant. Our bodies have to maintain an inner core temperature even when it's really hot outside. For example, in this desert, in an area that can easily reach over 40 degrees Celsius. All right, usually we sweat when it's really hot. Evaporation of moisture from our skin cools our body and lowers our temperature. You see, our bodies can only handle so much before the processes of homeostasis break down. Overheating when it's really hot and hypothermia when it's really cold can be serious, life-threatening conditions. Oh, Rob, check this out. Look at this little reptile. See, it doesn't have any physical mechanisms to be able to maintain its inner core body temperature. Instead, it has to use behavioral regulations to ensure that its body's temperature stays within a safe range. If a lizard like this needs to get warm, it can bask in the sun. If it needs to cool down, it'll retreat into a place like this, a nice cool crevice to cool down. Behavioral regulations keep an animal like this safe and alive in the desert. Lucky for us, homeostasis helps keep our body temperatures within safe limits. But we still have to take shade sometimes to keep our body temperatures from overheating. All right, this sun's getting intense. Let's go. So we know that our bodies are able to regulate and maintain a constant body temperature, even in extremely cold and extremely hot environments. But did you know that our bodies are continually undergoing processes that maintain homeostasis, even when we're just sitting around? In order for me to stay alive, the processes that control homeostasis regulate many of my body's mechanisms, such as respiration, heart rate, and even my glucose levels. Without me thinking about it, my body is taking in oxygen as I breathe. My heart rate is beating just right, not too fast and not too slow. I'm even digesting my pizza from lunch. These are just a few examples of what my body is doing to keep all my systems going in a stable environment. Homeostasis is an incredibly complex process. Every day, our bodies have to perform hundreds of functions. Most of them, we don't even realize they're happening. Right now, up here, my heart is pounding. My cells are getting oxygen and adrenaline is running through my blood. All this helps me stay alive and maintains my homeostasis to make sure that my organs and physical systems are functioning properly. So next time you feel hungry or thirsty, remember this is your body's way of trying to maintain constant hydration and energy levels. 
it's another example of homeostasis. So remember, keep yourself well hydrated, eat good food, exercise, and never stop exploring your world. One, two, three, four. Here's something you can try. Try misting one arm with clear water from a plant sprayer, but not the other. Then wave your arms around. Does one feel cooler? And what does this have to do with homeostasis?